No haircut. Hey, Prince of the Streets, baby. Living real love, you know what I'm saying? You talking to him? Yeah. You talking to this mic? Nah, I wouldn't turn his mic off. All right. Um, that's Jay Levita, man. He's, he's he's a problem, man. You know. Right, 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 right. You definitely got something going on there. Who produced that track there? The one and only Problem Child. Problem Child, man. That's where that guy is working like crazy. He's right buzzing now, like crazy you. right now. Listen, we heard that banger you got dropping. What's coming up with Cardi Vega? Like, what's what's going on with you, homie? What you got? Some shows coming up? Mixtape dropping? Like, what's what's the deal? I mean, I got shows. I got um this single right here that I'm promoting like crazy. I got the double XL in April. Um, so make sure you check out for that right there. And I got videos for y'all, man. Like, just stay in tune. That's what it is. That's what it is. You already know you're tuned in to British Streets Radio. I'm DJ Killer Noise alongside DJ Shorty T, and we about to get back into this thing, man. What's good, man? This is Jay Vix. You know what I'm saying? Here doing the Bridge of the Street Radio. Got my man Cardi Vegas over there. Man, him go way back, like at least three, four years. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to my man for trusting the nigga. You hear me? Jay Vix. Make sure you're tuning in that Bridge of the Street Radio, man. Check out that Cardi Vegas and everybody else that's on them joints. You hear me? Signing out, man. Jay Vix. Hey, it's your man JB. I'm down here at Kiss 101.7. Bridge to the Streets Radio. Check us out every other Sunday from 6 to 7. Out here with my man Cardi Vegas. Promoting that new single, Stunting. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get my man to come through Red Room Recordings down in Wilmington, Delaware. 1127 Chestnut Street. Check us out. Look for Cardi Vegas. He'll be there soon. Again, Stunting. Check it out. It's hot. Well, I mean, I didn't work with people in New York and everything. The sound is crazy. Um, problem sound is a little different. Like, it's just, Basically, you know, um, I was in the studio one day and I was on Twitter and I was just checking my um, my mentions and all that and I saw Kid Cardi, at Kid Cardi, and that's Cardi Vegas. He basically hounded me on Twitter. I was just like, yo, I need a track, I wanna make some heat. You know, he, you know, it was it was a good look, you know, he was real persistent. And, uh, you know, for a couple weeks I had a lot of practice and I couldn't do it. So so basically, you know, one day I was like, you know, let me sit these projects aside and show him that I'm about my work. So I woke up early in the morning on my laptop. I banged the beat out within about, about three hours. It took me three hours to make the beat. And when I made the beat, I went on and told him. And that same day I hit Cardi up, he came straight to the studio and we banged it out. He was just like, that's the one right there. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. We were real persistent. He's real persistent. I'm real persistent. You know, um, we work fast. You know, everything just kind of happened. Just in a quick three steps. You know, I made the beat. He came listen to it. He did his rap. He came and recorded it. Possibly, was it like a week after? Not even. Not even, not even a week. It was like a couple days. It was really a couple of days. It was a fast project. Yeah. You know, we, we kind of made some adjustments prior to today, but you know, we got everything in there and just in enough time. So, make sure. He might wake up early in the morning and he see the phone call miss for me or a text. That's what I do. Of course, I'm on top of everything. I'm a whole lot more.